Hey everyone, I'm here again with uh, another small scene, which uh, I sometimes use in my projects to, uh, you know, give the render a little bit more of atmosphere and a little bit more vibe, if you will. I'm talking about environmental fog, which can, of course, slow down your render times, especially when working with a lot of lights. And if you don't really need the fog to be everywhere in the scene, and especially if you don't want the fog to be everywhere in the scene, uh, because, you know, else you wouldn't see other objects or something like that, uh, I've created a small node setup which can help to quickly create a bounding box for your fog, which is this cube here. I can drag these handles around, and as you can see in the render view, my environment fog is uh, shifting with it. I can even make it a lot taller, shift it around here. Let's say, oh, I want it to be way more to the left. I can shift it around again. So this seems to work quite well. And if you have a really keen eye, you have noticed that uh, I also have a height gradient in here, which uh, helps me to create a uh, this feeling that the fog is more denser at the bottom than at the top and that you can uh, still see the sky a little bit when you're inside of it. Um, yeah, so if you don't want to have that, you can just go into the environment fog material, go to this uh, height gradient node and change this ramp. Um, I've even changed it to be a little bit more uh, of the spline shape um, but we can change it back to linear and then uh, just all the way to the top and then we don't have that gradient really anymore. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to see now with the sky here, but uh, I can assure you it works and that's just fine. So uh, I wanted to keep this short and I'm keeping this short. This uh, is a really neat and quick way to well, have your fog just somewhere specific where you want in the scene. Thank you.